Hello everybody, this is Tech Hut. In this video, what I'm going to be doing is going over a plugin called OR Announcer. Now what this is, is a plugin that creates a log and has some other features to help server administrators keep track of the, their players' mining habits, particularly for the purpose to prevent people from using x-ray mods in servers. Now there's all kinds of cool features that it has, such as TNT mining, uh, you can have very customizable, customizable alerts, which we'll go into in just a sec. And it creates a log and lets uh, administrators use commands to figure out uh, how much people are mining and things like that, which we'll get into in just a sec. So, getting started with the installation of this plugin, what we're going to do is we're going to go over here and download this resource. And we are going to keep it. And then once we have it downloaded, I'm going to drag this over, open up my server folder, and then drag and drop this into my plugins. Once it's in there, we should be able to run it and there shouldn't be any issues. Once your server is fully loaded, you can see here that OR announcer has been enabled. So for now, I'm going to go ahead and stop my server and go into the server config file and change some things. So we're going to go to plugins and there should be the OR announcer folder. And what we have is the files that we're going to use to customize the plugin to our preference. So the main thing here is the config YML. Now generally there's not going to be much you need to change in here. Um, this allows you to turn off and on certain features of the plugin. Every little thing here will have a um, printed message telling you exactly what each setting does. So go through this, read everything, learn everything. Under here you have storage settings. So if you're just running the server locally on your computer, I wouldn't recommend you messing with any of this. But if you have a bigger server and you actually have a MySQL database that you'd like to plug this into, you go ahead and customize some of these features here. Add your address, port, passwords, usernames, all that good stuff. Under here you have the alert settings, so you could edit the uh, actual kind of notification effects it gives you, what are, whether or not if it shows up in the console. You could do coordinates, so if you want to save the actual coordinate data of the block breaks. So all this is customizable. You have the uh, actual text that shows up, so you can customize how it displays within the server logs. And then blocks here are some of the um, features, so you can bypass player blocks. Like I said, all of these have a description on exactly what the setting does. So go through all that. Here's where you can alert on TNT mining, you can alert on the light level, and you can um, edit the stats settings and some of the command settings. Which here, this is kind of awesome because the uh, developers actually allow you to edit what the commands are. But where the true fun is, is over here in the blocks YML. If I open that with Notepad++, this is where you can actually edit the particular block type, the number of breaks within a certain time to give you the notification. And for example, you can see here the very first item is the diamond ore, which is what um, people using the x-ray mod are going to more likely go after. So um, you can change the name, change the alerts for admins and users, uh, and completely enable or disable it, change the number, for example, for this. For demonstration purposes, I'm just going to change this to 5, just so when I go in I can show you this, and you can have the sound, change the light level. And then they have this for the emerald ore, gold ore, redstone ore, iron ore, and um, quartz ore. And um, you might be able to add more types of ores just by using the proper name but I'm honestly not 100% sure on that. I'll leave a comment below indicating that. But for example, diamond ore, you're going to want the number lower. Iron ore, you're going to want it higher because, um, well, actually here, which is probably a good thing, it's disabled, but by option, you can set that to true and uh, change the settings there. So I'm just going to jump into it, show you some of the commands, and show you an example of the alert it gives me when I break five diamond ores. So let's jump on in. Alright, so now we are in the game, so I'm going to show you some of the uh, commands and how this works. So, starting off, the forward slash OA command will bring up the help page. So we'll go over some of the basic commands, which I'll run over real quick. Uh, the first one is alerts off and on, so that is um, for the individual to turn off and on the alerts. So if an admin just doesn't want them to show up for some reason for a while, they can go ahead and do that. The uh, 
OA reload will reload the plugin and uh, pull any config edits or clear the, um, the alerts. So I'll go ahead and make one come up now. I already broke some and it said found six diamonds, so that is the uh, generally how it works. And like I showed you earlier, you could change how that looks in the actual config file. So I'm going to try out some of these other commands. I'm going to do stats of myself. So if I go OA stats and then type my name, which is Tech Hut, it will bring up the uh, amount of diamonds I've found and all that. So if somebody just joins your server and you notice you're getting those. Um, notifications every once in a while. You can pull that up and see if they've mined 30, 40, 50 diamonds within a couple hours of joining your server. You know something is going on. The um, OA top, oh my bad, OA top will show you the uh, top players for mining. So if somebody's on top of there, you can kind of spy on them. See what's going on with that or unless if they're just good and they have a good mining setup. And you can see the version. Um, and that's really about it. This is a pretty simple plugin. Thank you for watching. Please uh, comment, rate, and subscribe. I'll post all the links in the description, such as the uh, command references, all the permissions you're going to need, and, and a link to their wiki, wiki page. And that is it for now. Have a great day, and goodbye.